There are two main types of kinetic energy, rotational, such as throwing a rock, and vibrational energy, such as water molecules vibrating in a microwave. This is how microwaves heat up your food, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today we're going over an intro to kinetic energy and potential energy. This video will be straight to the point with as little fluff as possible. If this piques your interest, stick around. Our entire world is connected through types of energy and humanity thriving is dependent on abundant energy. By definition, energy is a quantity used to describe the ability or capacity to do work, and the SI unit for it is joule J, with one joule equaling one kilogram times meter squared divided by second squared. Work refers to the transfer of energy between objects or systems when a force is applied over a dis distance. The equation for work is work equals force times distance and is measured in joules as well. The transfer of energy through work can be from either kinetic energy or potential energy. The easiest way to remember kinetic energy is by associating the term kinetic with movement and the equation to calculate it is E kinetic equals one half times mass times velocity squared. There are two main types of kinetic energy, rotational such as throwing a rock and vibrational energy such as water molecules vibrating in a microwave. This is how microwaves heat up your food by the way. Potential energy is a kind of opposite to kinetic as it pertains to objects at rest. The best way to think of it is that these objects potentially have energy, such as a book on a shelf. If the shelf breaks, that book is coming down with energy. There are two main equations relating potential energy. The first is E potential equals mass times gravity times height. Hopefully that one is pretty straightforward. The second relates to electrostatic potential energy, E, ELP, and is critical when dealing with charged atoms, molecules, or ions, and the equation is E ELP equals K times Q1 times Q2 divided by D, where K is a charge constant of 8.99 times 10 to the 9th joules times meters divided by Coulomb squared. Q1 and Q2 are the electrical charges of specific species you're looking to calculate, and D is the distance between the species. I hope this explanation helps. And if you have any further questions, feel free to ask. If you found value in the video, please like it and let people know about the channel because it really does help spread the knowledge. Based on what you learned, think about the following questions. Calculate the kinetic energy of a seven kilogram bowling ball rolling at 15 miles per hour. Hint, one mile per hour equals 0 0.44704 meters per second. Number two, calculate the electrostatic potential energy of two electrons 53 picometers away. Hint, the charge of an electron is negative 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs, and a picometer is 1 times 10 to the negative 12th meters. Thank you so much for spending your valuable time learning and bettering yourself. If you like the video and want to learn more, donate, or get tutoring, please check out my website, nocollegeneeded.org. You can use the code NCN for 20% off tutoring and any supplemental materials. If the subject isn't up yet, please be patient. I'm working on bringing them up as soon as I can.